we get into a full suit of armour and we have a fight. We fight with a sword and a shield or an axe and a shield or whatever you want, two-handed axes, and we have a fight on a points-based system similar to a boxing match. And the best description is MMA and armour. Knees, elbows, punches, anything is legal. Head cutting is legal. Um, you just can't manipulate small joints and you can't stab with the weapon. They're basically the rules in a nutshell. And if you do get a, a really big hit, you, you will notice it straight away. It's like last fight, I thought I broke the rib. Um, I felt that straight away. We'll all walk out of this after tonight with some bruises somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, so this is um, one of the two-handed axes. So these all have to meet a specification. They're all blunted and can't have any sharp points. But that weighs about three kilos. Uh, and that's swung at full force in baseball style if you want into someone's ribs. The, the good thing is once you buy a set of armour, that's basically it. You can just repair it over and over again. Um, it's about $2,000 to get a full set of armour but you can spend much more on it. Dad loves it. Dad thinks it's awesome. Best thing ever. Uh, Mum was a bit skeptical at first, but she's starting to get into it. Grandma can't come watch me. She gets way too scared. We've, we get people that do martial arts. We've got people that have never done any fighting experience before. Even just holding an ax feels like strange. Once you sort of get used to used to it and think in your head that it's all it's all just a sport, the other person knows what they're getting into, it's fine. Throw that axe at that person's head. It's very different to football, stuff like that. You see sparks flying off the helmets, uh, the swords are bending, uh, the helmets are getting into it. it it's, it's pure adrenaline and the kids love it. They just light up, they're going, this is real nice.